All right, I think we are good to go. What's going on, YouTube? Yogizilla here, and I'm playing Guardian Heroes. Well, not just any Guardian Heroes. I'm playing Guardian Heroes HD Remix for the Xbox 360. Yeah, I'm playing it again. Got this like three years ago when it first came out. Still love it. What I'm gonna do this time, you know, besides testing my uh, PVR, uh, messing around with the setting there. What I'm gonna do is um, do a little gameplay for about 20, 30 minutes or so, and try some of the things I haven't tried as much, particularly the uh, verse. What's arcade? We'll do a little verses to warm up, then I'll play some uh, maybe arcade for the local. And yeah, that's me, Yogizilla. Now, I'm doing this particularly because we're gonna have uh, a uh, what you call it, a podcast on Game History 101 over at AllGames.com, where we uh, will talk about Guardian Heroes for the Game Club, and we'll probably talk about Sega Saturn and. The Xbox 360 version, all that stuff. I don't know if it came out on other consoles, but you know what? The other ones don't really matter. Just saying. That's how I feel. I am not being a fanboy. I'm allowed. Anyway, it's a two team. I should pick someone that I'm gonna use in game. I haven't unlocked too many people. There are a lot of unlockable characters in this game, and a lot of secrets. I usually play Randy, but I'm gonna go with uh, Injiro. Change the color too, right? Yeah. This is ready up. This is supposed to be random. Oh, equally divided. Yeah. Uh, that's a cool stage. There we go. The shrine tunnel. Oh, oh, oh. I'm over in the back. I'm the little ninja dude. We had the, the Berserker Skull, dude. That was crazy. Wow. Oh, he's trying that again. A lot of, a lot of options. I have no one in my... Uh, I'm really familiar. Oh my lord. Nah, nah, nah. Hey. Dude, I've never played it before. It's, uh... Like, a fighting game combined with, like, uh... Hack and slash style RPG action games. Yeah, a lot of really awesome elements. Uh, Multi-branch storyline. Not very story driven. I don't know if you can say the story is weak. But it's a fun story and there's a lot of uh, cool little twists. And you, your decisions actually have more of an impact here than they do in oh boo. Than they do in uh what's call it? Ah, they took out my whole team. And they do a Mass Effect. <laughs> Mass Effect. Oh, the big left down. My dog's being a reach on the back, so be here. Some growling. That's why. Alright, let's just play the regular game. That's a little bit too much to keep up with. I don't think I've played this arcade mode. I can play all these people? Logar is pretty badass. So these are main characters. You got uh, Han. 
I just love the version of Han. Randy, my favorite. King Jiro, my second favorite. Nicole, which is apparently the only way you can beat this game without taking any damage or dying, rather. She can heal herself. Serena, she's pretty awesome. Well, she's not a main character, though. She gets unlocked early on, though. And the rest of these are all extra. There's a lot of playable characters. It's pretty crazy. Uh, you know, I'm gonna stick to my guns. Oh, this is the... Oh, okay, I've played this already. This is the arena. This is insane. You guys watching this? Look at look at all the freaking craziness going here. Oh, and I'm dead. I've gotten pretty far in that mode before, but yeah, it's pretty brutal. Not as bad the other one though. Let me try. Let me give it one more try. Cause I also don't remember half the moves anymore. There's like a weird way to bring up the moves depending on the controls you set up. Oh wow. I can't remember the controls. It's pretty bad. I thought it was right bumper. Yeah, yeah, I get it. Game over. Screw you. Uh, I should look at the controls. Up and options. Uh, remix mode. Quick attack. Yeah, it's really bonkers. Original game wasn't this quite this complicated. It was on the Sega Saturn. You know, did I have all this madness going on? The commands. Yeah, I thought I did that. Block, right trigger. Yeah, a little weird, a little weird. Oh, you could use the left analog to row shift. I thought I did that. Quick attack, BD, man. Yeah, that makes sense. Okay. Let's try. I don't want to make this video too long, but you know, give you a sample of what the game's about. Wow, a uh, very good sample. Let's just jump into the regular story. I love this game. This is one of my favorite games of all time. Um, it's a game that's even more fun when you play with other people. Let me try. Is this someone online? Maybe. Oh, I'm not online right now. We can do that. Oh, 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 oh. Let's play offline. Oh, I already have a game in progress. Okay. I guess I might as well continue that one. Oh. It's on everything. I don't want to be on Xbox Live right now. I don't want to spoil the story too much for you. I guess it's good that I skipped the game. If you haven't skipped the game yet, or maybe I didn't do it too much already. Oops, I got an edge blow. You command this NPC. How uh, you get him is is one of the fun parts of the story. It's just very obvious. I guess not much. I don't remember how you died in this spell. I love, like, Randy's a mage and I haven't been doing any magic. But I just love his, uh, his physical attacks. to do any other spells. I think if I hold down, there's a button I can hold down. Uh, oh, there we go. Right analog. Yeah, this is the lazy way to do it. I used to know all the spells. Abilities inside out. It was a little while. I'm playing on easy mode. Hard, uh, regular mode is super, super hard. 
This is a great beat up on. It's a great beat up. Farther than that. Yeah, even better than Street Fighter. Okay. Oh! Better block, better block! Uh, he's gonna explode. Yeah, the, right, the normal mode in the remix is insane. You get like three lives and that's it. I mean, that's the hard mode thing about but yeah, even the normal mode is crazy. And I haven't gotten much of the tunes in the game. You have to be very dedicated to do that. How do I... I keep forgetting how to... Uh, I don't like the control screen maps. But anyway, this is mainly a test video, so I don't want to run this too long. I just wanted to warm up, show you the game, give you a basic idea of what it's about. I'm not much for a scripted and very structured uh, review. If you want that, it's Total Biscuit. He's very thorough. I mean, yeah, I just gotta play and make some comments here and there. Fun game, I mean, what else do you want? Super high replay value, a lot of characters you can unlock. Like I showed earlier. Different gameplay modes, I mean... If, if nothing else, this is probably one of the best uh, Xbox Live arcade games. If I had to be really picky about it, I'd, I'd, I'd say more than that. I'd say more It's just fun. Four player action, I mean. As online play, in this incarnation. And it's the dopeness. What more do you want from me? What do you want from me? I mean, the combo system is legit. I mean, you got the weak, medium, strong. That right there, that go back to like. Let's say Soul Calibur or Street Fighter. The six, Street Fighter, if you really want to pretend it has six. Strong, medium. Strong, medium, weak, or weak, medium, strong, so we can say it. Kick and punch. And by the way, I think I mentioned this already, but you can basically have your little NPC helpers do all the fighting for you. If you, that's kind of boring, but you know you could do it. So the game will take forever if you were trying to finish on it. He's really strong, but he likes to fiddle around with his food. Anywho, I will end the game here. I'm gonna try streaming this because um, I haven't been doing too much Twitch stuff lately. But uh, yeah, this is uh, one of my few YouTube videos. And you know, sadly, I haven't done too much YouTube because I don't like the direction uh, Google's going with YouTube and um, you know, make auto bans for copyrighted stuff and stupid stuff like that, and suspensions and auto bans and oh, automated. Yeah, but I don't like it. I don't like it at all. But I had to share my love for this game. I, I really love this. It, it takes me back to the days when Sega was still around. And though the Sega Saturn, I can admit in retrospect, wasn't a very powerful system. They had a lot of amazing games on it. Now, the Dreamcast, they did no wrong with that system, but they got screwed over by the third parties, particular, particularly EA. Which, every time I remember that, I, I like EA, EA less and less, and I... I don't even feel compelled to get Battlefield 4, and I, and I love the Battlefield series, but that's how much I hate EA. But this is a great game. It's worth checking out. Um, I'm not sure if there is a PC version. I probably should have looked into that. If there is, it hasn't been talked of much. But I know that this is the Xbox 360 version. I love it. So you can play this on the Xbox 360 or the Sega Saturn. I'm sure there's other ways to emulate it and, uh, and whatnot. Speaking of which, I can't get my Sega Saturn emulator to work properly. So I have to figure that out because I'm not taking... Uh, actually, I don't have my Sega Saturn anymore. I was going to say I'm not going to take it out of storage, but I kind of auctioned it off. This is stupid. I'm actually really regretting that. Uh, because I would say Guardian Heroes and maybe Three Dirty Dwarves and definitely Panzer the Dragoon Saga are like the three games you have to play on the Sega Saturn as far as I'm concerned. There's some other great ones there too. Grid Runner. I uh, can't remember half of the other names, but uh, regular Pants Dragoon, not Pants Dragoon Saga. But um, good times. All right. I've rambled on enough. Um, thanks for tuning in. Yogi Zilla.